The Jacksonville Ski and Snowboard Club serves more than 400 kids each year in our Alpine Freeride and Nordic programs. Keeping high quality winter sports programs affordable and accessible to all members of our community is central to our mission. Thank you to everyone who makes this possible. The ski club uh, was a uh, major influence in my racing career simply because it became um, the platform to go beyond the regional skiing or even national skiing with the JNs, back then of course, junior nationals. It gave a focal point for the parents to, as an organization to organize races here but also organize selecting a team to go to the Junior Nationals. And then of course Junior Nationals was a, an open door to university skiing, to US team skiing, because it gave you exposure to coaches from all over the country. Jackson Hole Ski Club became also a major cornerstone in what I eventually got into, which was the biathlon. My biggest advice uh, for young skiers, uh, ski racers, is to have fun. My best races actually were when I was having fun. It was enjoyable, I was in inspired. The other piece of advice is to not give up when you're not having fun. We used to have a, a saying uh, when I was training, seriously, just getting out the door some days is enough. That's all part of not giving up. You've at least continued with your commitment to your training program. And uh, things will come around, it'll be better in the morning. I enjoy sitting here watching the days that you watch them and the horses watch them first and then you wonder what's going on and you look out and you, you see the mobs. All of a sudden here goes a whole mess going down back and forth. Yeah, no, I enjoy. Johnny Curtis had the, was a the coach. He'd bring, he mainly had the girls. There were about six of them. They'd come here every day after school and they had the track that went back out around to our property and back and around. I just love to see the little kids out and really enjoyed it. I think it's a great thing for the kids to have, to see the amount of cross-country kids there are, because it's not the glamorous sport like the Alpine kids, and it's more work, I think. It really is, it takes more of a dedicated kid on these days, especially after school when it's cold. Come in, put your skis on, and go out here and run. Yeah, you have to hand it to them. I don't know, I think the kids that learn to to ski cross country, learn to enjoy a lot more of the skiing the rest of their lives. Once they're a good Nordic skier, they, they, don't, they stay at it. To me, it's a better sport. It just takes more guts. I don't think people realize how long it takes to set up a race. You know, they show up, the race goes off, they're done, thank you, we had a good time. And there could be 10 days prior set up before we actually have a race go off. If it's a speed event, there's definitely 10 full working days of seven to 20 people on the hill setting up. After working a day on the hill and having one athlete, maybe once a year say, thank you for volunteering, that was the best time I had. That makes my day. That is so satisfying. And that's why I volunteer for the club. For me, it's uh, always been a passion working with the kids. It's a lot of fun to see them develop. To continue on in this sport and be a part of it is rewarding in more ways than, than, uh, than I can put into words. And it all comes down to being part of a team and part of a family and out here working towards a common objective. 
And while um, sport and competition is certainly a part of the ski club, it's a lot more than that. It's an organization that is for everyone in the community. Learning how to ski, learning how to work together, these are the, the true testaments to the ski club, not just what place you get on a result sheet. And seeing the kids develop, no matter what age, what level they are in the ski club, is what the coaches truly thrive on. We're always looking for new ways to maximize the cost to benefit ratio for our athletes through the form of new events and new fundraising ideas. It's a balancing act that we have to undertake constantly. This is the best. We have the best snow and the most options for like great training sites. That and then free skiing at Teton Village and the mountain resort, can't really beat that. And for me growing up with coaches like Sean Clark and Keena Pickett and Gil Dennis, all these guys who basically just showed me how to ski the entire mountain, whether we're at Snow King on hard, steep snow or uh, at the village on steep, soft snow, we pretty much figured out how to do it. It's probably the most rewarding thing for me is to see kids really come into their own and to to work hard for years to see them start making moves. Um, when I was a kid, I was I feel like I was in a lot of their position, but I didn't have the direction. I didn't have a coach or team managers or someone like that to sort of show me the path. And so for me, it's really rewarding to see kids who I get to help uh, sort of pave that path for them a little bit and help them decide which are you know the, the right steps to take. You know, for me, the coaches, I think, made all the difference. You know, w when I was doing it, you know, I had Troy Kindred and Dan Adams at the time. And, you know, both those guys were, were so committed. And, and Dan Adams was a ripping, ripping shredder who actually had a really good method, something that was respectable. And I think being young and impressionable and having these, you know, committed, serious, but also fun-loving mentors uh, to travel with, it really got me to where I am. The ski club was a huge part of, I mean, obviously I was born and raised here and skied every single day with the ski club and out at the mountain. And, um, you know, I wouldn't be on the team if it wasn't for them because they're the ones that pushed me and, you know, got me in the right place to eventually make the ski team. First, we have like one of the most difficult training venues in the world. It's just so vast, the skiing that we have here. It's so incredible out there. I still go out on days now where I'm like, oh, I don't remember skiing this. <laughs> just like endless days of adventure with these kids and it was always just really fun. It was never about the competition or any of that. It was always a fun adventure for me and being able to hang out with people and be able to be outdoors all day was awesome. It's definitely made me who I am and the athlete and the technique that I have. I had some amazing coaches at the time and some of them are still my coaches. It's pretty cool to have had that support and still have that support and I have to thank the ski club for that. My favorite part of my job is being able to award scholarships to kids each year. In 2011 and 12 we awarded nearly $40,000 and made skiing a reality for families that would not have otherwise been able to participate. Talking to those families and hearing the joy in the parents' voice when they realize their kid is going to get to participate is awesome. It's so fun and then to see these kids in the club having fun, um, it's just, it really makes it, it makes it worthwhile. It's really fun because you get to use poles a lot and falling out of your skis and powder, which is very fun. I also like that the coaches are awesome and sometimes when we're like up there, where the moguls usually are, we do like gaper contests and other contests and they always make it super de duper de duper de fun. <laughs>